everybody. Today is Tuesday, February 17th, 2009, and we are going to be working on another star, and this one is very similar to uh, like a pinwheel. It's a four-pointed star, and uh, we'll be doing a lot of folding, a lot of, a lot of creasing, creasing, and more creasing, as they say on the... Uh, on the calendar. So get your paper together and uh, we'll get started. So the first order of business today is to make multiple creases in your paper in preparation for the folding of this star. And what you're going to do is fold it in half on the diagonal in both directions and you're doing this uh, starting with the white face, uh, the white part of the paper facing up. So you're going to fold it in half on the diagonal in both directions. And then you're going to fold it into thirds from both directions. Like that. Opening it back up and like that. And opening it back up. So you will have many, many lines <laughs> to work with once you're done. Now, lest you think that this creasing frenzy is over, you're wrong. We have four more creases to make before we get, get started on the, on the star. And these are going to be to fold each corner to basically the little confluence of all these other creases right here. And you'll see what I mean once I do it. So you're folding this down right to the center where all of these lines are intersecting. And you'll see there's even, there's even a fold line that matches the shape of this in the paper. You can see the, the line here. So first this corner, then again there it's going right to that point there. This corner, the bottom, and the other side. And there you have your, your multiple creases. So now that you've done all of those creases, really all the major folding for this star is done. Uh, now you're just uh, going to really follow the guidelines that you've made to create the, the, the final model. So the first thing that you're going to do is to uh, fold the one side over from uh, the left to the right, like so. Okay, so from here, the next step that you're going to do is, is to really be, you're going to be pulling this out and folding this down at the same time. So you're pulling this corner out and folding down the top and as you do that it's going to naturally fold along this this crease on the inside here which is one of the ones that you've already made so out and down and you end up with this now you're really uh, recreating that same exact move on the next corner. So you're pushing this out, pulling it out, and pushing this in, folding this in, like that. And it creates a fold that looks like that. So again, from here, you're pulling this piece out and then and folding this piece over 
like that. All right, now third time's a charm. We're doing the same thing again. You're pulling out on this, folding up on that. Did you see that? I'm, I'm pulling out and folding up and over. Perhaps if I do it like this, it look, it'll look like the other piece, up and over. Okay? Now from this point, your next step is going to be to reach in here and grab on to this, the piece that you see on the inside here, and pull it Pull it out. Like that. So what you end up it looks like this. And then the last little fold that you're going to do to create this star kind of magically is to fold this bit down. And when you do that, voila, you have your four-pointed star. Four-pointed four star. Attach it to a, a stick or something, you have a pinwheel. I just stuck a little paper clips on here so you can see what it looks like. And there you have it, your four-pointed star. Um, and I hope you enjoyed that one. It's a little uh, geometrically challenging. So, and, and sometimes they're sometimes they're more difficult to show on this uh, video than at other times. And even though uh, there weren't too many folds to create the actual star, it did seem like it, it could be a little confusing to follow along, so I hope you were able to do that. Uh, tomorrow, uh, we're going to be uh, returning to an animal theme, and we're gonna do a Chinese duck. So there's something to look forward to. In the meantime, I hope you have a, a nice rest of your Tuesday, and uh, I'll look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow, Wednesday, hump day already. Go figure. Time's just flying away. So. Have a good rest of your day. I'll see you soon.